Hello, this is Chris with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove styles, scripts, and more from your WordPress parent theme. This video was inspired by a blog post from Devin Walker at the URL shown here. If you create a child theme based on a parent theme in WordPress, there may be times when the parent theme loads extra scripts and styles that you don't need or want to use in your child theme. You can speed up your site by telling WordPress not to load these extras. To remove scripts or styles that you don't want, you first need to find out the handle of the script. Then you can use that handle to DNQ the script or style. The debug bar plugin and the debug bar list script and style dependencies add-on for the debug bar can be used to find these handles. I've installed these and activated them in the WordPress dashboard. The theme that I'm using is called GK Portfolio, but the same technique will work with any theme. I've created a child theme of GK Portfolio called GK Portfolio Child. If you visit the site, you can use the debug bar to see a list of scripts and styles that are loaded by the theme. I see that the theme is loading the jQuery Fit Vids plugin, which is used for embedding video. I don't intend to use video on this site, so I'll remove that. Take note of the handle, which in this case is portfolio-video. To DNQ this file, open the functions.php file in your child theme or edit your custom functionality plugin. I'll create a new function to DNQ the script. And I'll hook this new function to the WP print scripts action with a late priority so that it runs after the script was enqueued. Save this file and then upload it back to your child theme. Now when you return to the site and refresh the script and style dependencies screen, you'll see that the portfolio-video script is no longer being loaded. If you want to DNQ a theme or plugin style sheet, you can use the same technique. For example, this template loads a style sheet for Internet Explorer 8. We don't expect many or any users on IE8 to visit the site, so I'd like to DNQ that style sheet along with the normalized style sheet. I'll write my own normalized style sheet if necessary. So I'll take note of the handles for these two scripts and then return to my text editor. I'll create a new function. This function needs to include WPDQ style and WPDregister style for each of the style sheets that you want to disable. And then I'll hook that function to WP and Q scripts with a late priority. Save the file and then upload it to the child theme. Now if I go back to the debug bar and reload script and style dependencies, those two style sheets are no longer being loaded. Another method for removing scripts and styles from your WordPress header and footer is by using the head cleaner plugin shown here. The blog post by Devin Walker also discusses how to disable certain post types, sidebars, custom widgets, and more from a parent theme. Visit Devin's article to learn how you can even remove scripts and styles for just certain pages of your WordPress site. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Devin for the inspiration. Check out the WordPress blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to WordPress.